It's the Muppets, and this is Miss Piggy in the Spotlight. Backstage at the Muppet Theater, the Muppets were very busy. In just a few hours, they would be putting on one of their biggest shows ever. Fonzie was practicing his jokes. Gonzo was giving a pep talk to his chickens. And Miss Piggy was rehearsing her song, All You Need Is Moi. It was going to be the big finish for the show. Just a second, Miss Piggy, Kermit said, interrupting the song. The frog walked out to center stage. Attention, please. Gather around, everybody. I have great news, Kermit said. I have something that will make this show even more spectacular. Fabulous! You must be adding another spectacular song for moi, said Piggy. Uh, no, said Kermit. But I do have a big surprise. Tonight, you will be on stage with a big star. A star? asked Rolf. You mean to share the spotlight? Exactly, said Kermit. And trust me, this star will shine. Did you hear that? Fonzie asked after Kermit left the stage. A big star. I wonder if they will go on after your act, Miss Piggy, said Rolf. What do you mean? said Piggy. Everyone knows that Moi sings the most important song in the show, and that the most important song is the last song. Well, sure, said Rolf. But that was before Kermit called in someone of note. He plunked on his piano. Do not be silly, huffed Miss Piggy. Kermit would never replace me. If you say so, said Rolf. But do not come howling to me if this new star takes your place. Big star, big star, shouted Animal. Get back to work, yelled Miss Piggy. I am the biggest star, and I have a song to rehearse. Miss Piggy tried to practice singing, but she was too worried. Take five, she called for a break. Then Piggy said quietly to herself, No one can take my place, right? Sure they can, Gonzo piped up. Just move over to your left a little bit. I can take your place right now. Miss Piggy did not think what Gonzo said was funny. Take that, she cried. She grabbed Gonzo by the nose and pitched him into the balcony. Thanks, said Gonzo. Being a daredevil, Gonzo enjoyed the trip. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you turkeys, said Miss Piggy. Those are not turkeys, they are chickens, Gonzo corrected her. Miss Piggy stormed away. Boy, is she in a foul mood, Gonzo muttered. Miss Piggy marched backstage to find Scooter. He always knew what was going on. Oh, Scooter, Miss Piggy said sweetly. What can you tell me about this new star Kermit told us about? Oh, said Scooter, the new star is going to be dazzling. More dazzling than moi? Piggy gasped. Absolutely, Scooter said, nodding his head. It cannot be, wailed Miss Piggy. Kermit is my one and only. How could he do this to me? He could not ask me to share the spotlight with another star. But he is, said Scooter. Miss Piggy frowned. Miss Piggy fumed. She got mad, very mad, so mad that the other Muppets took a step back. Where is that frog? <laughs> he yelled. It's time to get to the bottom of this, 
Miss Piggy found Kermit opening a big box behind the main curtain. Listen up, frog, cried Piggy. I'm going to ask you once and only once. Is that star going to upstage my big number tonight? Well, yes, Piggy, said Kermit, but... That is it, screamed Miss Piggy. I cannot take it any more. How can you do this to me? After all I have done for you and these weirdos. Wait, Piggy, said Kermit, please. Take this, <laughs> yelled Miss Piggy. hi -ya! With one well-aimed swing of her arm, Miss Piggy karate chopped Kermit. Miss Piggy, you do not understand, cried Hermit. Look inside that box. Miss Piggy did not want to do what Kermit asked, but after huffing and puffing, she decided to take a tiny peek inside the box. She tore away at it piece by piece. Finally, all that was left was, Big star, big star, shouted Animal. Kermit had brought in a huge, glittering, golden star to hang in the spotlight during Piggy's performance. Oh, Kermy, said Miss Piggy, is this all for me? Yes, said a dazed Kermit. I wanted something to help you shine even more than usual. Oh, Kermy, said Miss Piggy. She covered Kermit with smooches. I should have known you would never replace me. But next time you bring in a star, said Piggy, you had better clear it with me first. <laughs>